saw all of that as ways of trying to express that we are inside of creation and we don't understand how creation got created and we have religions telling very basic stories that don't really explain anything about how we get to be here that there's a mental plane trying to explain stuff that's actually totally judgmental and denying loads of the whole truth in order to focus on partial truths of which people fight over which part of the truth is the bigger part kind of thing. So if we go back to what I'm saying there in the analogy of the, uh, the world being like a film and it being an immersive film that's like a game film, part of what I'm trying to get my head around at the minute is, you know, time as a construct, like a bubble that you can be inside, therefore there's an outside of time. Inside of time, things seem to be a duality. The duality of polarization is actually what makes learning possible. Learning is something to do with self-reflection, self-identity. Self-identity is something to do with what's an entity. Entities are something to do with individuation. Individuation is something to do with we have individual souls. Uh, duality has a contrast of non-duality, which would be outside the bubble of time which would be where we are all joined together as souls. And yet there is an individuation. In that sense, I once came up with a little story in my mind or a story I channeled from the madness that goes on in psychosis of a mirror world that a frame which could hold a mirror, which I held up to other souls in the non-differentiated outside of time and said, hey, have a look in this mirror. And people saw an image of themselves and became narcissistically attracted to look deeper into their mirror, which is the portal through which souls came down to earth as individualized souls in their avatar bodies, which is what is your entrance into the game as an avatar. And in that whole idea from a few years ago, early on in COVID it was, was the idea that time is coming to an end, that the ones who've invented this game are saying there's an awful lot of suffering going on and actually it's time to end the game. It's time to heal all the suffering. The point of the game was to heal a whole load of stuff, which on the undifferentiated soul level was unresolved, which is talked about in that right use of will books in the story of creation that's going on there that's so deep. Story of creation of our souls, not just the material realm. And in that whole idea of an immersive game is the idea that um, we are nearing the end of the game. There's only like less than three years left before the whole fucking thing is resolved. Stick that. And <clears throat> putting a time frame on it like that is on the one hand the intuitive, but more recently it's backed up by understanding if you look ahead in the next three years of astrology, the outer planets are making angles to each other, which is really unusual, the kind of angles they're making and the intensity of it, and the amount of these angles, that they're all involved in this being at the end of the sign to the start of the next sign. So they're all within 30 or 60 or 90 degrees or 180 degrees of each other kind of thing. But the angles are really exact, and lots of them are making these angles with each other. In fact, all of them are. And that's just so unusual. And that continues to intensify over these next three years, and after 2027, there are no more of those angles happening for 15 to 30 years. Like the odd one, 15 and then 30 years time kind of thing, roughly speaking. Whereas at the moment, these angles are happening. Uh, quite a few dozen of them are going to be happening over this next three years kind of thing. And so I'm grasping or recognizing or holding that kind of concept in mind playing it parallel with what in my irrational mind channeled in a story form, if you want to call it that, back in 2020, July, August, September, together with all my old soul knowledge of the ancient -y stuff, such as that, you know, the Atlanteans don't much like to talk about that they're the ones that destroyed Lemuria kind of thing. The Atlanteans don't like to talk very much that the Atlantis civilization fell because it was so separate from its feelings that essentially the Atlantean civilization was kind of pointless because it was merely technological and mental. It didn't really have 
the magic of feeling that it tried to take from the Lemurians, which is to say the native uh, indigenous Earth Mother people. So that's a bit like the Atlanteans are the masculine spirit and they attacked the mother's emotions on Earth, which is what caused a rift. Then came the rift, then time became swift. The line was then dawn up over the dawn for high magic was needed. Quick time superseded, a solution was needed, so we interceded. The return of the bird tribes of old and of song, we come now to remind you to sing you this song. You had forgotten who you are now. You had forgotten how to live, you had forgotten what the point is, you had forgotten how to give this life you are living now, this life we are all forgiven now, let go, let's dance and let's grow. We angels are landing, we knew our own seeds in our homes, we are welcome in this time of great need. So bless us, creatrix, by the sun, moon and trees, this tragedy is ending so swiftly and with such ease. Blessing be.